idea to 2d sketch 2d sketch to 3d model 3d model to 3d print and then to a robotics project and then to your resume and to a job offer hmm, interesting obviously it is not that direct and there are a lot of steps we need to take care of while designing the robot let's focus on that part the parts of a robot design are components of a robot design consideration modeling process and 3d printing and assembly first of all you need to decide which components you are going to be using in our scenario we obtain all of the 3d models available for the components that we will be using so that we can model our robot's body according to the dimensions and it is pretty clear that dimensions matter a lot when producing a robot so once your all components are inside of your 3D modeling software, you are going to arrange them for just an idea before designing the body. And this arrangement is totally based upon your imagination and experience for the robot's dynamics. The software I mostly use is FreeCAD because it is open source and a lot of tools are available that one need. For Fusion 360, I think there is a port for Linux, but FreeCAD is the main decision. So this is a robot designed from top to bottom. There are all components there and the body has been designed according to holding requirements of the components and other things. Important part here is to look at the points where a robot is going to be putting forces. There can be done an analysis for holding the components and the forces applied on the body. And there is also an experience based decision as well. That that our motors and batteries are on the back, LiDAR, Raspberry Pi and this power bank is in the middle which keeps the balance of our robot. Next part to look in is the wheel balance. Now if I draw a line from this wheel to this wheel, you can see the robot is touching the ground from the front and the both left wheels. In that perspective, the dimensions for your wheels should be very accurate. And I have introduced some holders which are covering some gap to match the height of our wheels for balancing it properly. Modeling of this base that we have produced which is 3D printing ready because it is quite easy. We understand it's designed by disabling the components and look at the holes placeholders that we have added. This is for the LiDAR because LiDAR has to be at a certain height. This is for the caster wheel to match the height of the wheels. This is for holding the battery. Coming to the main thing that shape is designed out of experience that this shape is fine material and its height that is 5 millimeter of PLA is based on the weight that has been imposed upon it. So how do I get these holes? We enable all of the components. We can understand that with these components upon the base we can easily dig holes like you can see these holes are to hold the motors from the bottom and if we enable the LiDAR, LiDAR is actually on a stand, battery is not being hold. Raspberry Pi 4 specifically, there are four holes beneath the Raspberry Pi that are holding Raspberry Pi and keeping it at a certain height. These are standoffs. If I enable them, Raspberry Pi is at a certain height from the base because of this SD card and some other electronic configurations which are present at the bottom of Raspberry Pi. Once the robot body is designed and ready for 3D printing, you select each component to 3D print one by one and export it as a STL that is going to be given to Ultimate Dura software and it was going to 3D print. I then enable other components and extract them as an STL. Once they are done, we open the 3D printing software and place all of these components on the build plate. One by one, we 3D print them as it is feasible. Once everything is 3D printed, you bring all of the components. Wires are not here, but obviously we need wires. Once all of this on the table, you start joining them. So our robot is completed, we need to take care of the power. For power, we need to connect it to some sort of battery and the battery should have a connection with the button, meaning we change the state of the button and then the robot turns on, otherwise it is turned off. This is very essential feature required. So this is our robot 3D printed, 
and 3d modeled although there are some components like camera and cover that are not here but in a nutshell this is what we obtain and it is exactly the same from my personal experience as a hobby 3d modeling and printing then building robots it's quite fascinating that when you structure your robot and you 3d print it you are trying to improve your mechanical side as well as programming side according to the requirement in my case i was just about compressing the size of the robot so i don't have to think about more of the dynamics 